Hi, welcome to Tim's Desk. This is as much of a reveal video of the new workspace I've built uh, as it's going to be. Uh, I've got this to a point where I can show you guys what the work was that I put up on the last video, uh, the piece I was making, how I've managed to fit it in here. I was going to do a video of that, but it was a case of just getting it in here at the time. Um, so there's no other spare hands to actually record the uh, the event of getting it up the stairs and in the room. Uh, so we will we'll just have to show you what it looks like uh, here and now in here. There's still quite a lot of stuff to come in the room. I've still got quite a few of my bits downstairs, which needs to be organised, um, gone through, because there's quite a lot of junk in there that needs to get rid of. Uh, as well as stuff need sorting out and putting into the right places. So that's going to take me another few, quite a few days to get that all to a point where I'm happy. I'm still waiting on some more paint stands to come directly from Hobby Zone. Um, I've uh, model officer has helped out with doing an order from there so we can get that all organized and up and stacked up soon. Um, so let me uh, take the camera, turn it around and show you what I've been doing. Okay, so this is my bench and the layout. This is what you saw me building in my workshop at work. Uh, it fitted. It was a struggle. It was tight. It only just fit in there, which I was very, very grateful for. Uh, I had the uh, stepson helping me, which is, was absolutely wonderful. As you can see up the top here, this is where I will have another three of these paint racks up there and then i'll have another two down here for the rest of the bottles um you can see that's there's the layers i've got so far uh spaces for more paints more paints down the side there a lot of st storage space down here you always need more storage um i will actually be making drawer units to go in here so still similar to what these look like now. So there'll be two drawers in there and three drawers in there. I'll make them out of wood. I'll make them fit exactly in there so they're the right size. Um, and then I'm going to do something to, to decorate the front of it to make it look quite good. Spray booth over the end there. Bottles of cleaner and primers. Airbrushes up there. There's the air vent going outside. Lucky enough, I had in here an already air uh brick area so that just new panel over the top vent in job's done um i'll i'll get one of the, my old mats like this over that side i'll cut it so it fits in there a little better so when i'm painting i'm not going to make a mess on the table um down underneath uh, we've got a lot of spare tools compressor printer uh box of kits which is about to get, get posted out and um, behind me, over there, I've got my bookcase. Oh, books on there. Up top, storage. And then going around, more storage up there, a lot more space to put a lot more kits. And there's the cabinet, which definitely needs an organizing. And I need to do some modeling to start fitting it up. Um, so as you say, the Samuelson will get back onto very, very soon. First, I'll finish off the Audi down there. That's what my first project to get done. Um, so this is, I'm, 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 just, I'm quite happy I've got this done and I can actually start building. Hopefully we start building mm, tomorrow, today's Saturday. So tomorrow, hopefully Sunday, actually start getting some work, work done on here. Uh, quickly while I'm here, what I'm gonna be doing um over the next few months coming up is more review videos hopefully more um build videos i'm not going to be doing a live build or a video uh build while i'm building um i'm usually on a hangout with the guys from ism so uh there's a bit of a 
expletives that can't go on videos in there. So it will be more of a catch up video, sort of like a bit of a bench one, but I'm going to hopefully try and keep it aimed just at that kit. Um, what I am going to do, I've got, I'm on Scalemates. I'm on ISM, the forum. I'm on Facebook. There's a few different ways you can get in contact with me. What I can go do is I'm going to show you what my Scalemates on there. So if there's any kits on there that you'd actually like to see me review because i can't always keep buying brand new kits um funds will never allow that uh, but if there's older kits in my stash that any of you guys see that you would be quite uh would quite like to see me do a review of so you can see what's in the box i feel more than welcome to contact me uh on ism i am tim plastic on there for Scalemates, I'm Tim Ivats or Tim ISM on there. And then if you want to contact me on Facebook, I've actually made up my own page on there called Tim's Desk. So you can contact me through there as well. Uh, so you've got a few different ways of contacting me either, or as you're on YouTube, you can contact me via this one as well. Um, please check out all the sites you can see down here. You've got Models for Heroes, do absolutely fabulous work for veterans, uh, helping them build models to, uh, to uh, help get what help them get away from problems with PTSD and things like that. So that's really good of them. ISM, brilliant forum, brilliant page. Can't beat that. Ultimate Modeling Products, wonderful sanders, primers, uh, thinners, cleaners, absolutely super stuff and you've got red dragon model works and styling syndicate over there you need airbrushes aircraft dash net uh, dot net on there so please check out those guys absolutely wonderful and i will see you guys soon hopefully with some build updates thanks for watching